Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Imperator Rome as we are playing as the Roman Republic. Alright, so let's go and get started in today's episode where we're going to be declaring war on some more of these tribes here in Cisalpina Gaul or Kisalpina Gaul. Because uh, remember that C, I think, is supposed to make that K sound. So I guess the correct pronunciation would be like Kisa, Kisalpina. Uh, so yeah, we're going to declare war on them this episode. We do need to split these armies up. Uh, these guys are on the move, so we'll just let them continue moving. Uh, but we could go and split this one up right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to want to do with them is probably situate the light cap, or excuse me, the light infantry in their own unit. I think that's the best way to do it. So you have like one sieging army and then one like fighting army. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably uh, the way we want to do this. So we we'll also want to move some of these over there as well. I'm not sure exactly how large. We want to get these two armies here. I think it's it's like a forty, yeah, it's forty thousand. So about twenty something thousand a piece is what I'm thinking here. Should be good. Let me just look at the supply limit in these areas. We only really need to siege down that one, and the supply limit here is fifty three. So you can actually fit all of the units there if we needed to. Uh, that's not a problem. But yeah, we're still going to continue to split these guys up. So let's go ahead and uh, move maybe a couple more of these over there. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, like four each of the supply wagons and then give them some light cab too. And give them like four of these I think total of uh, 2,000 and then that looks pretty good. Yeah this will be our fighting army and this will be our sieging army. Alright so let's go ahead and, and get these guys moved. Uh, so since they'll be sieging there let's move them over to here and it looks like we can just fit underneath those supply limits. Fantastic. And then we'll do the same with these guys once we get them down there. Uh, and then, of course, they'll be attacking right there. Now, before we do anything else, guys, I feel like we need to take a look at our governor situation because we're still having loyalty problems in several areas, like here, for instance. And part of that is governor corruption that is affecting uh, this here, guys. Uh, and, and we'll see the same thing if we went down here into Africa or up here in the north. Uh, we have some corrupt governors. Uh, so I think we're going to uh, kind of rotate our governors out or do something to reduce their corruption. So in this particular case here, this guy is not too bad. You're not gonna find anybody much better than him, I feel. So what we'd instead wanna do is go ahead and impose sanctions on him. Uh, so by doing this, we're going to lose approval with the Optimates, gain approval with the Boney, uh, and then we're gonna get a little bit of tyranny, and we're gonna reduce his corruption uh, completely, actually, in this case. Uh, so we're gonna reduce his corruption down, and his family will lose prestige. Uh, so yeah, let's go and impose sanctions on him. And we can take a look at what the, uh, uh, how our, our parties look right now. Uh, okay, so they're at 89, and we already have 100 approval with the, the Boney. So that should help out here. And yeah, you'll notice that already it uh, got us, we're now in the positive. We're not losing losing anything anymore, uh, which is fantastic. So let's go and take a look at some of our other areas and kind of do the, the same thing, kind of just take a look at whether we want to switch the governors out or if we want to, uh, you know, uh, you know, try and get their corruption reduced. So this guy here's got a lot of corruption, 26%. Now before we do anything with this guy, let me see what's going on up here in the north. See if we want to make any adjustments here uh, with this character. Because I want to say that he's getting, yeah, he's earning corruption. And, and that's because he's extorting the territory. So but you notice that because he's deceitful, he's always going to get corruption here. He's not even that good. So I think we're just going to replace him. Yeah, he's, he's not fantastic at really anything. Uh, so you know what, let's just go on and replace him with this character here. Uh, I think he'd be the best option for the position. Yeah, we're going to replace him with uh, this guy. And you notice that he also has corrupt issues, so we will have to, to do something with him. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's an option. Okay, I didn't realize that. All right. Well, he's crafty, so he's a plus 20% on the base corruption. Okay, I didn't see that either. But he's not earning corruption every month like the other character was, so overall it's it's not as bad. So over here with this character, instead of, um, yeah, I don't think we'll replace him. We'll just go and impose sanctions on him as well. Just gain that tyranny, kind of get rid of some of that corruption. I think that'd help a lot. Uh, this guy's fine here. And so I think we're good to go. Now we just need to kind of mess around with our offices, make sure that we get all the families uh, appeased. Yeah, because right now the, the Fabius family is not currently appeased. You know what, there's a, a lot of adjustments we can make to change this up because like this position here doesn't even have a uh, family member at all and he's not even that good uh, comparatively to I mean he's he's equal to any of these characters 
Uh, so yeah, we could put him in there uh, to appease the Fabius. You know, I'm gonna go and just kind of go through all of our, our positions and just see how many other positions we might want to, to you know change out, just to kind of uh, get better characters in there. Uh, yeah, like right here, I'm gonna change that guy out. We'll see if there's, there's not gonna be anybody for these positions, of course. Uh, so let's go move up to the top here and just see if there's anything better here. Uh, we got two level eight guys here. Uh, that would, of course, result in the, the green family not being happy anymore. Uh, yeah, you know what, we're gonna go with one of these two. Uh, let's go with this character here, simply because statesmanship is slightly higher. Uh, now, either way, because these guys all have lower statesmanship, we're gonna find ourselves getting worse, uh, uh, you know, worse, um, you know, actual benefits here. Here we can just, uh, we will be replacing that green family again. All right, might not want to do that, but this character is pretty cruddy, so we could replace him with this guy. And that's the only family that's unhappy right now. Let's just go and take a peek, see if there's any other ones you might want to change out, like maybe this character, although, you know, the health is not as important. Uh, I don't know if we actually have any... Okay, so the Claudi Claudius family is the one that's currently appeased. So if we switch them out, then that would, they would get irritated. But we could fix that over here with the, the Hannibal position. So yeah, I think we will go ahead and switch them out. Uh, same with over here. Yeah, just going to switch them around a little bit, see what we want to do here. So with this one, this is the, the least important one. So you know what, let's do this one instead. And we're going to go with, we're going to go with this guy here. Let's kind of switch all of our positions around. And then over here we can, oops. Ah, oh, Lord. I hate how you can't go back with that. Uh, so with this one here, we'll just do whatever family, which would be these guys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to place the Fabius family in there. Just rotating all of our positions around. Now here, I think we'll probably just leave that guy, just to keep him happy. Uh, though there is actually a better guy from that same family, so, and he's more loyal, so it made more sense to put him in place. All right, excellent. So overall, uh, we got better people in those positions, and all of our families are appeased. Nobody's losing loyalty right now either. All right, so we're just waiting for these guys to get up to the north so that we can declare war. Uh, we will have to pay for our army as well. Uh, so these guys are going over here. We're going to want to split them up as well, though, since they are going to be eating up all the, the supply there. Shame of a governor. All right, so this is the, the governor of Numidia, and we've, we've seen this event, uh, so it's really just loyalty here and money that we have to deal with. Uh, so I don't really want to lose loyalty with this character. He's actually really good with the marshal, uh, so he's a, he's a good commander over there. Uh, we don't want to demand his resignation, or he said that the commoners are not our problem, in which case he'll gain loyalty, and we will lose popularity, which is what I think we're going to do. Uh, and speaking of popularity, one thing we're going to go ahead and do here, guys, that we haven't done yet. I typically do the schemes a bit more when I play as a monarchy. As a republic, I just don't mess with them as much. But some of these schemes would be beneficial for us to use more often. Scheme influence would be one of those. So we're going to lose popularity, negative 0 0.1 per month, but we're going to gain monthly political influence for 240 months, guys. That's plus 20%. So that'll increase the political influence by quite a bit, which is actually a lot higher now because we have loyal, uh, more loyal officers than we did before. Let's go and do that. Yeah, big increase there uh, because uh, this has been one of the main limiting factors in this campaign is the lack of uh, political influence. We've had a, a severe shortage of that throughout the campaign. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and create a new unit here. And we'll probably do the same thing that we did with the last one. Just go ahead and switch out all of the infantry and that gives us 10,500 so we want to get a few units here and there and then probably get some some light cab for them too and that should be a pretty good number here we might want to do a few more units maybe just do some more light cab there we go and then just split them up a little bit so where are the I think that's the fort right there, so we're gonna move to that. Let's see where we might want to put this unit here. Let's put him right, you know, actually, we're gonna get the other guy. This guy right here, he'll come on over here. All right, excellent, so move that guy, and then we'll we'll declare war here in a second. We do have to, to pay for the army for a little bit. Well, we'll pay for the forts as well. And we still are making good money despite the, the, the low taxes here, guys. We're making very good money. Uh, so I want to say these guys are ready. Uh, we're going to let it flip over to June here and slow this down and then declare war. Which again, it doesn't really matter where we declare war since these guys are all allied. All right, so we're not going to pay for the fleets. Uh, just trying to save some money here, guys. And then let's just go ahead and attack right away. 
Uh, we might keep these guys here, just see if we can't catch the enemy uh, troops. I doubt they'll be able to raise up 3,500 there, though maybe, it's a possibility. These guys are going to want to make it straight to the capital over here. Just have to keep our eye out for where the enemy troops are when they raise up. Yeah, I'm not seeing any just yet. And they'll have some ships, and you know, we could speed up like this siege here, but it's it's just not worth paying for the fleet. Not one not one thing of ships, guys. Yeah, this is way uh, overkill here. We do not need this many this many troops, guys. Uh, so they want to improve this province here. And that's not the... Yeah, that is not the way I would want to improve that. Yeah, that's just a terrible one for the, the capital, guys. And remember, each improvement we do... Uh, you know increases the cost of any further improvements and we just don't need that like we're already under the fort infrastructure I mean not, not expecting to go above it and There's you don't need loyalty for the capital. Uh, so it's just a useless a useless one to to put into the capital guys I think we're gonna go with this the, the bony family or the bony party excuse me likes us quite a bit right a hundred So we have some to sacrifice here guys. It's gonna take that down quite a bit, but that's all right. All right, so doing a battle there. Uh, this siege is already done here, so let's just take a look and see what these guys are wanting. They're wanting some wine here. We're going to dip around. I think this is because we were trading with maybe one of these tribes we just attacked. Uh, we did kill 1,300 of those 14,000 troops. Yeah, let's just go and see who we want to trade with. Oh, they're getting much larger, aren't they? And yeah, they've been expanding quite a bit. I uh, will trade with these guys. All right. Uh, so that's done. We're doing this siege here, and let's just make sure it's all in the same area it is. So just winning that province will be enough. Uh, this one here, we will have to go take over that location. So let's go ahead and send this army in here. Although we might not be able to get past the fort. No, it seems we cannot. All right, so that's kind of a shame. Was that the wait then? Yeah, can't get past the fort. Uh, now, if we asked for access from these guys, we could go around the side. I guess we'll do that. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Now this guy's retreating somewhere, so he's probably gonna cause us some problems. We can just send this three, uh, this 3,500 here uh, to deal with him. And let's just see where he goes. Uh, we'd have to get access to there and not have to bounce all the way around here. Uh, it looks like they have access, okay, so that's a problem. So we might need to go ahead and ask for military access from them as well, just so we don't have to go this far. And these guys can march over here, get them killed. All right, so yeah, they might try and all get into one army here. All right, so let's get them that 1,000 attack at us here so we can get them destroyed. Uh, I assume that they're retreating over to there. All right, so we killed those 1,000. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and go over here, although it looks like that's not where they're retreating to. I'm not entirely sure where they're retreating to, actually. Still got those uh, 1,500 there. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys came up around this way because I don't know where they went. Yeah, they just look like they uh, disappeared. All right, so these guys can come over here. Although I don't think that's where they're going. Let's just wait a second. Oh yeah, that is where they're going. Okay, so we'll attack them there. Then we got these fifteen hundred here bouncing around. I suppose we'll, we'll go up this way. Just make sure they don't go take that that one location. We'll get those guys battled, and that should be a complete you know destruction there because there's so few troops. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So they've been wiped out. And let's go ahead and figure out where we want to put this army here where they don't have any supply issues. We'll just put them right there, I suppose. Go through here. And we'll be getting those 2,000 destroyed and that siege started up. And then it's just a matter of taking these uh, three locations here to be able to finish up the uh, the war. Very, very quick conflict. Yeah, we got those 2,000 wiped out. Excellent. Uh, because we have such good manpower, we could even just assault these locations just to get this done sooner. Like, especially this one here. Uh, again, we do take some some higher casualties doing that. I suppose we could wait. I mean, there's not really any rush here. We'll just put this on speed 4 and let it let it go. And we'll get these wars done. But yeah, we might want to, to, to do that one just because it's going to be the last siege done here. All right, so it looks like we did get a rival here. The, the co-consul is, in fact, our rival. Okay, so that's kind of negative overall. Got our consuls fighting each other. They don't like each other. All right, so this uh, siege here is knocked out, so that's going to get all this taken over for us. It's going to get them out of enemy territory. And uh, now we're just waiting. This one will be done here in a second, too. 
and because our console's in charge here, we can choose what we want to do here. We're just gonna let the looting be gentle. All right, we all have some money to spend, so we're gonna do that now. And we're just waiting on the, the final siege at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. I, I think this location is actually now gaining loyalty that we've we've dealt with his corruption. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's just kind of dip around all our, our territory. Uh, now we could, of course, I mentioned this before, and uh, I guess somebody didn't hear me because they brought it up, but yeah, we can use the, the nation overview uh, for all this as well. You know, if we wanted to just sort by loyalty here and see where we want to do this. And you can see that this location here is still our key area of issue. Uh, the problem here, though, is that those places, the loyalty is so damn low that there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, here, let's go and get the Great Temple built in Carthage. That'll be what we spend our money on. And so we're just waiting on this siege now. Uh, and then once that's done, we can end this, end this conflict. And I think we're going to go ahead and order an assault as well, just to get it done quicker. There we go, beautiful. All right, so let's go and take a look, see what these guys, yeah, we're not trading with them. Uh, just see what they all want to trade here. And yeah, we'll trade with them. Give uh, Sparta some trouble. All right, so uh, the war is over. So let's go ahead and uh, get all this, this territory taken. Uh, so we're gonna try and get everything and I don't really care how it's gonna affect. The aggressive expansion, it's fine. We're gonna get 15, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and say okay. And then we're going to want to look at all these tribes here and see who we want to keep. Although, I'm not really keen on keeping anybody, honestly. Kind of just want to get rid of some of that aggressive expansion. This guy's okay. If there's somebody like really, really good, then maybe we want to keep them. But so far, I'm not seeing anything super impressive here. I mean, some of these guys are all right. They have like one good skill and then the rest of them suck. I mean, no, I guess this guy is decent. Uh, I suppose what we could do is like keep I'm trying to close this damn thing. Although, yeah, I don't know which, which country he's from. I often don't know what country they're from, especially if all the countries you conquered have the same culture. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of uh, difficult to tell. Uh, like we know that these guys are, are from here, but yeah, we don't know what, what characters uh, are in that family or in that country. So yeah, it's kind of a a pain in the butt. So now we're just gonna put them all to the sword, guys. Just get the aggressive expansion reduced, uh, and that's uh, that's helpful because we're sitting at 24.27 at this point. Uh, so do we want to go ahead and declare war on the next country? Uh, well, let's go and finish this mission task here and see what this gives us. Okay, so this is just another one for that colonia. We get to pick a location and get that modifier. Uh, and there's looks like there's four choices. Yeah, it's four choices right now. Uh, so let's see if we can't find uh, all these and, and which one we would want to put them in. So there's Parma. Uh, so we could do that one there. Just take a look at it. It's obviously not a, a key location. It would also have to be turned into a city. The other locations would be right here. Also not really the choice or this one right here. And that's not the choice either. I think this is this is the only one that we can really go with. This one makes the most sense to do. Uh, it's already a large city. Uh, so that's the one we're going to do. You just get the most advantages from it. Ten pops, you're going to become Roman. Uh, so let's go and do that one. That's the natural choice, of course. And we now have a new area. Uh, it's only one province, uh, but somebody needs to be the governor of that one province. All right, well, let's just pick somebody then. It doesn't really matter. Uh, again, it's only, it's only one province here. Uh, so probably somebody who's just okay. Maybe somebody who uh, is part of a family you might want to make happy. Yeah, maybe uh, this guy here, Octavius. He's really loyal. He's got some good bonuses here. Yeah, we'll do him. All right, excellent. Uh, so let me take a look and see if we can declare war immediately. I, w I want to get this area here conquered. Uh, we are waiting for the mission tree to get done, and that might... Oh, that, that, that was completed immediately. All right, so we can't do this one until we've conquered every area here. Which area do we not have? Because it looks like we have all that. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong here, but... Huh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we don't have. Maybe we gotta wait a second for this to, to, to update because yeah, we have the, the whole area. Yeah, let's just give it a second. and see what's going on there. So we did get the martial advances. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go and see who we want to trade with. We can trade with these guys here. 
And then it's going to get an, an advancement uh, for our marshal. And we did finish this here. That's got us the foundry, so we've been able to build that. And that's what we were working on. And so now we can start working on some other branch here. Uh, so yeah, that gets that heavy infantry discipline, always helpful. Uh, we haven't really started doing any of these, and we probably should. And you know, I really want to get the loyalty of the generals up. I think that'd be helpful. Also, siege stuff is, is great too. And then we haven't even worked on this uh, branch here at all, but again, the naval stuff is really not all that important to me. Yeah, I, I just don't know that we'll get any of this anytime soon. It's not a priority. Now, I don't know if there's any of these that are really good because I never go down the, the naval branches because I just don't focus on it much. So I don't know if there's any that like grant benefits outside of the, the fleet. So far, all I'm seeing is fleet bonuses here, guys. And the fleet just isn't that important to us. So yeah, we don't need to go down that route. So instead, let's go and work on one of these two here where we can either do the, the siege stuff or we can do the the bonuses this way, which I think is what we're gonna go with, guys. Increase the supply limit here. And I'd really like to get the loyalty of the generals up. So we've had problems with that in the past. In fact, we've had some wars where we almost lost because of loyalty issues. And you know what? I'm, I'm still not seeing the, this thing update. What do we not have conquered? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's one province right here. That's the one province we don't have conquered. All right, well, let me see if I can declare war immediately. We cannot. Damn it. All right, so the two countries that they're allied with would be this one here and then this one here. So we'd have to fight both of those as well. All right, so we need to get a claim on them, essentially. Uh, so let's go ahead and start working on that then. And we do have some political influence to spend as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and fabricate a claim here. And we're going to want... I mean, this one's honestly cheaper, so you know what? Let's just go with uh, this one here. It's got the most pops. And I suppose we're going to want to disband our army in the meantime. We don't want them just sitting around here while we wait uh, for that. And, you know, we can burn some aggressive expansion off while we wait. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, and disband all levies. And this is going to get us some very good uh, military experience here. And not bad at all. Yeah, we're going to take that. And uh, I think everybody's disbanded. Yeah, everybody's good to go here. Uh, so these guys are done with their road building. Uh, let's go ahead and take them off of this here and move them over to see how we want to do this. Uh, we want the road to go down this way, uh, down the coast. So let's go ahead and move down to the last province we are building in right here. And then we'll we'll build the roads all the way down, maybe down to that location right there. Uh, we could also build them all the way down here just so we could deal with like uh, the barbarians that are constantly rising over here. Uh, we're going to have issues with probably continually until you like colonize all of this. Uh, which we're not able to do because there's just not enough uh, pops in this location. So we'd have to do some pop micromanagement if we want to colonize down there. Uh, or just wait uh, for it to to get populated ourselves. Uh, itself, I should say. Alright, so we're going to lose some stability here. That's unfortunate. The Great Transformation. Now, the expansion of the state has led to large parcels of private farmland becoming concentrated in enormous provincial estates known as Latifundia. These estates have a reputation for the extensive use of slaves as well as directing their production towards profit-oriented export products rather than grain for the population. While these estates make us a great deal of money, the owners of small farms and some populist politicians who are be uh, beginning to feel marginalized by these enterprises have lobbied for the curtailment of the Lat Latifundia system. So we say that these developments suit our situation. We'll lose some popularity, which we're quite popular now. Uh, which is interesting. I'm guessing we got that from the war. And we would have uh, this modifier for 120 months, reducing slave happiness, which is kind of irrelevant, while increasing slave output and citizen happiness. So that's great. Uh, is that a national modifier? Yes. Okay, so we also have this one. The plebeian should be appeased. If we do this one, we won't get the prestige. Instead, uh, our tribune here would get it. Uh, the popular faction would get approval, and national freeman happiness would be increased by 12%. I mean, that's good, too. Yeah, that's good too, guys. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I think we're going to go with this one. I think that's probably for the best. Uh, so yeah, let's go for that one. Although I know the Freeman one would probably be more uh, beneficial to us when it comes to trying to increase the loyalty in, in these areas since they're mostly uh, Freeman in those places. And you know what? We could also go ahead and take a look at our uh, fort situation. We do want a fort here. Block off anybody coming this way. And we're about to have a war with these guys soon. Uh, so we'll keep that fort right there. And then I think we're going to get rid of, might want to get rid of that fort. You know, it's not like we can't pay for it, guys. 
And it does help with the loyalty in these areas. So, you know, we're going to keep the fort there. It's fine. Having the forts up here in the north is going to be helpful. Uh, oh, it looks like they actually have a rebellion here. Well, that's interesting. Does that mean that it ended? I think it does. Damn. Yeah, I think it just ended that. Uh, we might want to wait until the revolt is over in this case. All right, so that's, that's a bummer. Uh, so the admiral here just died. So we need to find a replacement. And this is just for this you know, fleet here, which is really not that important. Uh, so we're just looking. We've just been using it for uh, unhappy families. So it really doesn't matter who we appoint here at all really uh we'll just take a look see if we can't get yeah you can't really get any benefits you have to have eight uh positions here we're just gonna probably leave that open guys just for whenever we need it it's fine because yeah i just don't see any point on on appointing anybody there uh so yeah we're waiting for this revolt to be over so we can declare war on them that's who i want to attack next uh so we can finish up this this mission tree here uh, i don't know where we're gonna have to go next to, to finish up the mission tree i, I suppose we could take a peek at that because we could start working on that since this is kind of being a hassle uh so so this is for that for an, okay so we, we that's the same area there then we have this one here so that one's over here which we already have all right excellent okay so yeah, that's it. We just need to conquer those guys to be able to finish this mission tree, essentially. So we gotta wait for this revolt to finish up. Although, if it takes too damn long, then we might end up having to spend another 20 political influence to just try and get the, the claim on them. I know that it's gonna end, though. You'd, you'd expect. Alright, so this guy here is looking to create a monument. A beautiful monument. And we can help him out. If we did, it costs, or we gain political influence, it costs us manpower, which we got plenty of. Uh, we say this is not a good time. Which case he'll gain popularity and lose loyalty. This is the just a random character apparently. He's not even that good in anything. I guess he's got good zeal. Uh, or you say perhaps. Okay, so this is basically spending money instead of the manpower. Yeah, it makes more sense to spend the manpower. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, you actually get less political influence doing that as well. Yeah, so we'll help him out. Get a bit of political influence, guys. And I think we're just going to spend that automatically. Uh, I know I'm going to regret doing this. Because the revolt's going to end up ending, and then we're going to have to do it again for a third time. Uh, man, we just continually find ourselves getting rivals. Yeah, just everybody hates our, our current consul. I don't know why. Uh, so, we're no longer getting stone. Uh, does that result in us losing the benefit, though? That's what matters. I think it does. Yeah. This is actually one of our rivals who died from dysentery, because it's not CK3, we're not going to be getting any uh, stress release from rivals dying. Uh, so yeah, we have to trade for, for more stone, guys, uh, since we do get that 5% build cost reduction, which used to be a 10%, but then it got uh, changed. Let's go ahead and just trade from here. Let's make sure we keep that, that benefit. Uh, we do have money to spend, uh, so I guess we'll pick an advancement, and then we'll spend that money. Uh, so let's see what we want to get here. I guess we're going to go for the military sponsors. I really want to get that loyalty of generals plus five. That'd be helpful. Uh, next is supply limit if we want to go that route. This also gives supply limit. Uh, fort maintenance. Ooh, that'd be helpful since I build a ridiculous amount of forts. <laughs> Way more than we need. Uh, that affects our economy quite a bit, guys. Uh, as many forts as I have here. Uh, army movement speed. Okay. Yeah, because we don't need to go down both of these because you only need one of them. Uh, so we've already gone down one, so it makes sense to continue down here, get that army, army movement speed. But at the same time, that fort maintenance would be nice. But yeah, it really feels like this is the better route to go, guys. This would get us the quick march, and we can unlock the force march unit ability, and army movement speed will increase plus 5%. Uh, this is nice, too. That's another reason to kind of want to go down this way. You know what, we might just go down both of them because they're pretty decent. Uh, and, and you know what, having the supply limit is always going to be helpful as our as our armies get larger. Uh, retreat delay, negative two. That's okay. Hostile attrition plus one, that's great. Uh, supply limit again, and then an army attrition reduction. Okay. Hey, there's some, some decent choices here, guys. I think the next thing we're going to get is a temple here. Uh, in fact, we can go in and get multiple things. We could go and do the temple and the, the Grand Theater here, actually. Uh, though, I want to say we still need to get stuff here as well. We'd have to delete a building. We'd have to delete, like, a marketplace here. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll delete a marketplace and then go in and get a Grand Temple here as well. Try to keep the loyalty up in Africa, guys. And, yeah, we might be able to get this completed. We'll have to see, guys. 
uh, and then we'll declare war on them. I don't know that I actually want to fight all the way up here. And, okay, so I'm, I'm not going to mess with that, guys. That's, as long as it's not in the capital and we don't lose any capital bonuses and things, I'll, I'll deal with the rest of the trade routes off camera as I've been doing. The Venomous Tongue. Uh, so we can't move against him. So this is the governor of Magna Grecia, which is always a location that we seem to have trouble with the, the governor. Uh, if we do this, he will lose loyalty. Uh, he's going to gain corruption, which we worked so hard to get that down. Uh, or if he can say the debt of treason must be paid in blood, in which the province will lose 33 loyalty and will be imprisoning Tertius. Ooh. Yeah, these are all bad. Very bad. Damn it. All right, I guess we'll have to do that one. Yeah, it's always the governor of Manigrigia, guys. It's always the governor of Manigrigia. He should start seeing that loyalty increase, though, here in a second. Uh, so... We've seen this event, and I think we're going to go with the stability, guys. Always want that that stability. Uh, so what I kind of want to do here is go ahead and spend... Oh, it's it's very expensive now. I was going to say we can spend some political influence to, to build up there. Uh, but yeah, because we already have so many there, it's, it's very, very expensive. Uh, so we won't do that. Uh, instead, let's look at governor policies and see if we don't want to change these up anywhere. Uh, particularly like over here, uh, where we might want to focus on religious conversion these guys are not yeah they're not converted here so i think that'd be helpful oops wrong button uh yeah maybe just change it to the religious conversion here rather than whatever they're currently working on harsh treatment okay so i don't know if that's actually going to be necessary the harsh treatment i mean in order to keep these guys loyal no it won't be uh, it does help us get that up quicker but yeah we don't need to do that uh, let's do the religious conversion, guys. Uh, so we'll work on that here. Just kind of change some of these up. Again, we don't want to spend too much political influence on this. But we really do need to uh, get these guys converted over here. And yeah, maybe this one as well. Because uh, in, in Italy, the problem was just the culture. And I think that's going to be good for now. These guys currently are doing local autonomy here. We might want to, to switch them over to harsh treatment just so we can keep control of this area because, uh, as you can see, we were losing loyalty in, in both of these areas. All right, that's good good for now, guys. We just spent a lot of political influence on that. So, yeah, I think that's that's fine. And our consul is insane again. Uh, we could say some of the wisest minds in the land and not get the insane trait, and I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know why so many of our consuls go insane, guys. Seems like a habit, though. Uh, something that we've seen a trend and looks like these guys are at war right now Or The rebellions being ended. Yep. Okay, so they're coming over here and taking all this territory <sighs> Yeah, I don't know if we're able to get it done guys I Don't know uh, We did get a thousand manpower got those benefits there. One of them's a negative technically Yeah, I think the rebellion's gonna put get put down guys uh, right as we got the goddamn claim here uh, let's let's declare war, I guess, but yeah, I don't know what we're going to be able to, to get done here. I'm declaring war now, even though we don't have our, our armies raised up. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get the, the army raised up. We didn't need to pay for the army that entire time. And also, I forgot about the road building that we were doing down there. Uh, but yeah, we were playing for the army and the forts that whole time, which was unnecessary. Um, so, I don't... Yeah, this will not be enough here. Let's go ahead and raise up here. And then also raise up uh, the closest location over here. And this will be plenty enough. Uh, so yeah, let's go and raise up right there. Because again, this is such a, a large army here. So let's go and do the same thing that we did last time. and go ahead and split them. Uh, split off all the light infantry for sieging and stuff. Then to give them a few other things as well. Just kind of increase their size a bit. Alright, so that looks good. And then give them some cav. And just looking at the size here, we could actually make them a little bit larger, in fact. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe give them, yeah, I'm not really too keen on getting them too much heavy infantry. Just give them a couple archers in. Just kind of make them a little bit larger. And maybe give them a bit more cav, too. Alright, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the larger army. And we need to change up our views here. All right, get the large army moving up this way, and these guys come over here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get there first. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> so there's not going to be anybody to attack here. God damn it! I knew that was going to be a problem, guys. And we're not at war with these guys, right? 
Mm -mm. Yeah, that's a real bummer. I knew it was going to go down this way. So we're just really helping them put their own damn rebellion down. So we can't declare war on them. Oh, we can, because we have the claim there. All right, so let's go and declare war. Oh, we have military access with them, so we need to cancel that. Uh, in fact, we can just go and cancel the military access we have with everybody. Uh, so let's go ahead and cancel here. And then I think we have access somewhere else here as well. Yeah, we don't need that any longer either. Let's go and cancel that access. And so now we're going to have to wait a little while uh, until the 19th of October where we can declare war. Uh, so they just came out of this rebellion. Remember, they do have allies, uh, so we do have to fight them as well. Although, it seems like their allies are gone, probably because they got wiped out. Yeah, looks like that's what happened here. Yeah, they don't have any allies. So we are only currently at war with them. Oh, no, no, they got pulled into the war. Okay, so they did still have the allies. Now, we could go in and conquer up this way, I suppose, and like just get these this territory here. In fact, we're probably going to want to get that. I think we're going to need that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We're going to send some troops up that way. Let me just take a look and see what kind of supply we're looking at here. Uh, supply limit 16, that's not very high at all, is it? All right, so we're going to want to make sure we don't send too many troops over there. Uh, what we could do is just split off you know, some units here and just get exactly 16,000 here. So maybe get rid of some of the cav here and a little bit of the infantry. So we're at exactly 16,000. We'll go grab that location there. And then these guys are gonna go after, ooh, let's see how we wanna do this. All right, so we need to get that. So let's go and have these guys go over there. Uh, they could actually do that siege, in fact. We'll have them do the siege. And we'll have them go take that for us. And then these 3,000 here, we'll just go into this territory. Uh, we'd like to go over that way, but it's better to send the larger army over there. And it looks like we have some trade offers. We'll take a peek and see what we want to do here. Uh, we'll trade with these guys. Try to make friends with the Iberian tribes. Alright, so this should hopefully be another quick conflict, guys. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, let's go ahead and just slow this down just a, a notch here. And looks like we got more barbarians. Damn it. At least we do have our army raised up, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and send these guys over here to deal with that rebellion. Or, excuse me, with those barbarians. And uh, let's see who we want to trade with. Sure, I'll trade with those guys. I don't care. And then these guys will just, I don't know, sit somewhere on the hills. Yeah, so just sit somewhere in the hills, like right there, because that's a pass. Kind of maximize their troop numbers there. Make the best use of it. All right, so that siege is ongoing. And yeah, we'll just get all these guys conquered here. And just take this little bit of territory here. I'm not really interested in conquering all the way up here just now. Yeah, I think we might just leave them alone. Take that, and then we'll be done with our, our conquest of the, the tribes here for now. Uh, so they did take that province, unfortunately. We had a lot of problems with that, that province. They're constantly invading from the mountains there. And it looks like they are going to attack us with more men than we have. So we're going to have to go help them out there. Make sure we don't lose, though. It seems like we would have won even without this uh, this army here. Hard to say. Yeah, it looks like they're winning on their own. Okay. So we didn't even need any assistance. Yeah, they did a good job there. Yeah, they got their butts kicked uh, by an army that is you know, not even that good. Uh, we don't need to have that many troops over there. You know, actually, let's go and stay here. Siege that down real quick. We could have this be like our our final location here where we built like a fort to, to defend that. Man, these barbarians are just taking everything, aren't they? Causing us all kinds of civilization issues. Uh, so that siege is ongoing, looking pretty good. And those are just treating way up north there. Yeah, so we'll siege this back here and then we'll attack them there. Although we don't really need to do that since it'll get flipped over on its own. And then let's go and go over here and take that location. We're looking at a thousand men behind our troops right now. And they are trying to attack again here. I don't even know if we need to assist because they did so well the last time. Yeah, we'll, we'll let them go there. And just try and get them them destroyed as good as possible. Uh, you know, without taking too many casualties of our own. I mean, man, these, these damn granaries just keep on getting raided. We need to set up some guards up in front of them, man, because this is getting ridiculous. Uh, this is one way to get loyalty, though, from, from the governors, so that is uh, helpful. Uh, it does cost a lot of money, though, so we'll have to spend it. It's unfortunate. It's not really the thing I wanted to get there, but, yeah, it'll have to do. 
So let me just take a look and see how we're doing here. Yeah, we have the one building there. That's probably enough. Uh, I'd like to take up the loyalty here a bit. We've already gotten the uh, Grand Theater, so we can go and do the temple next. It's really working on getting those areas converted and assimilated. Yeah, they're not even interested in attacking here. I don't know, they might still attack. Uh, so we did finish up the siege there. Excellent. Uh, so now we need to attack these guys again. And let's see what's uh, what offers we have here. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll trade our wine off to them. Not to them, though. We have an election upcoming. Okay. So let's see what we need to do here to get this done. Uh, let's have them go over there and take this territory while these guys focus on destroying these enemy troops here. So let's go and attack them there. All right, so barbarians were finally defeated there. Excellent, so we go ahead and move these troops on back over here. And yeah, I guess this is gonna keep on flipping, isn't it? So we'd have to like split these so they don't keep flipping it uh, unless we wanted to go actually attack the uh, the fort there, which I'm not terribly interested in, honestly. I, I really want this to be the, the stopping point here. You have this fort here, and then yeah, they, they gotta attack that fort either direction. And then I guess you don't have to build the fort there. Yeah, I'm not really all that interested in taking over this area here. I suppose we can attack the fort. Just give us something to do over here. And we did destroy those 2,000 troops. Excellent. Let's go and attack these guys now. And this army here is going to come help us out with the, the 4,000 or so men that we have over here. Uh, we did kill those 1,500. Let's go and see if we can't catch these guys. I get them, uh, yeah, where there's nowhere for them to go. And we did get another religious advance. Excellent. All right, so let's go and see what we want to get next over here, if we even want to get something in the religious tree. Uh, this does allow us to increase the maximum research efficiency up to 175%, uh, so that would be pretty useful. Yeah, I think we might want to go down that route, actually. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We always want more research efficiency. Okay, um, so yeah, that's flipping over to us. So don't have to worry about that. It looks like that, that unit there took that from us. Uh, this has been taken as well. Again, I'm not really uh, super interested in taking this location, but might as well. Uh, we haven't quite won the, the conflict yet. We, we did have a, an election, so we'll have to take a look at the, the winner. And again, we have an unpopular console, which is always a shame. Uh, let's just see how we want to do this. Yeah, we don't want that penalty. Uh, this would increase our popularity. We cost an obscene amount of money. So I guess we'll go with this one here. The tyranny, of course, has some uh, some positives, at least, on top of the typical negatives. Uh, so let's just take a look. It seems like this was the governor of Gaul here uh, that became consul or, or co-consul, perhaps. Uh, so let's go and see who we want to replace him with. Uh, so as far as unhappy families go, is it just the one? Yeah, just the Cornelius. Uh, so that's the green family down here. Let's figure out who we want to put in place here. I, I almost want to go ahead and put this guy here, Gaius, in place. Uh, he's got good loyalty, statesmanship being, and great. Uh, he gets that uh, province uh, commerce increase, plus 10%. Good finesse. Marshall's not great, but yeah, I think this is who we're going to put in place here, guys. I know that doesn't appease the family there, uh, but we do have uh, the open position of Pontifex Maximus, which we could use to, to please them, and I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, though they actually need two positions. Oh, do they completely control... The console ship? Seems like they might. All right, well, we have two positions to give them because we haven't put anybody in place here yet. We're waiting for just such a situation. All right, so that'll appease that family there. And yeah, we, we've gotten the loyalty up for most of those provinces. This one here is still incredibly disloyal, unfortunately. Yeah, it's quite bad overall. So yeah, we're taking that location. We still have this uh, siege here going and we're trying to get these troops here battled. We're gonna fight these guys here. And we might end up going up this way to stop anybody from leaving here and attacking our 3,000 there. And yeah, we don't really need to do these two sieges, but maybe we will. Maybe we'll get them completed. Take a little bit of extra territory here because our aggressive expansion is not in a bad spot right now. Our aggressive expansion is actually in a pretty good spot. So yeah, we're going to want to chase these guys here down. If we can catch them, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Uh, so these guys here are going to move over this way. They could also attack from down here. Uh, we could just go after that fortification, maybe just take over this whole region. Again, I'm not super interested in doing that, but but if need be, then whatever. 
Well, that's what we got to do to get this, uh, you know, to get this territory locked down. I don't have to worry about them attacking us anymore. They'd have to, you know, take an actual fortification to be able to push down into Italy. Uh, there would be benefits of doing that. Yeah, we, we probably don't want to go with the stability here, guys. And, you know, we already have an unpopular console as well. Although this is not for the console, this is for the Tribune of the Plebs. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the stability. Uh, that's always helpful. It's actually being ticked down right now, so uh, let's go ahead and do the Divine Sacrifice so we're not losing stability at least. Could do it again, so we're, we're ticking it up. Uh, it's kind of expensive though, so I don't think we're going to do that, guys. And the aggressive expansion is ticking it down, so as we... Well, I guess aggressive expansion is about to get worse, isn't it? So we're attacking those thousand men there. Still got the low maintenance on the army. Just seeing if there's anything we need to be aware of up there. Uh, those thousand troops have been destroyed. Excellent. And I think we might just end up doing these... Um, yeah, I think this is what we're going to do here. Let's, let's finish up the sieges here. And just assault them to get them done real quick. Because, I mean, look at how much manpower we got. We got 102,000 total manpower, guys. So it's just not an issue. So yeah, we can just do the, um, you know, assaults. And then, uh, well, assault would... Probably not with these guys here. We'd have to send them more troops first. And then, yeah, take the... Um, we'll leave the 2,000 there. Take these guys and have them come over this way. And yeah, then they can do the assault right there. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do the assault here just yet. We do have an omen we can call, and I think we're going to continue focusing on the aggressive expansion reduction. I wish that was a little bit higher. It's really not that much when you think about it. So yeah, those thousand appear to be running already. So yeah, we'll assault this location as well. And just try and get this done here. And yeah, we'll be gent gentle. Get some uh get some little bit of money there, a little bit of popularity. And are they attacking us there? It's hard to tell. Okay, no, that's not them. That's uh mercs that are currently moving. Did they hire them? No, they didn't hire them. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna attack there. Uh we have more troops coming in over there, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh let's go ahead and go over this way. And I think we have control over this whole region, right? We don't have that location, uh, but that's okay. We don't actually need that location. So really, we're just trying to get this one here now. That's all we're waiting on. Uh, I mean, we could go ahead and run over here and do that real quick, although it looks like he can't move over there. Is that a different country? Yeah, it's a different country. Okay. We could take this one here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go there. And we were victorious. Thought they could defeat our army there. They were not able to. So we're, I think this is the only siege we're currently trying to finish right now. Uh, but yeah, we'll take that location there. And uh, we did finish that siege. All right, excellent. So these provinces here, will they start flipping over to us? No, not until we get that capital region there. So once we take this over, then it'll eventually flip on over to us. Yeah, you, you can see we flipped over all their territory in the, in the region. We do have to get all this taken again, unfortunately. But we got an army over here to do that. So yeah, that's all we're waiting on now. Uh, these guys probably should move, though. Let's see if we can't get them engaged. And yeah, we'll have to attack these guys here to make sure that we get control of these two capital locations again. Unfortunately, um, they came up behind us and took those two. And then we'll be done. Now we're done with the conflict. Probably gonna get a, a you know a bit of aggressive expansion from all this, but we did take it down quite a bit. So yeah, we're going to attack these guys here, and then we'll attack that thousand there. Just make sure they don't come after any capital locations. We'll attack those guys. Looks like we're done, actually. Uh, so we can stop moving here. And let's go ahead and end the war. Uh, so we're going to take over all this here. And all this here. Go and get this area. I don't know how much this is going to let us get. Looks like we can get all of it. I guess we'll go and take this too. I wasn't going to take these these regions here, uh, but I guess we will. Uh, this will be 30 aggressive expansion though, so it's going to get us kind of high. Yeah, a lot higher than we probably want to go, but that's fine. Whatever, we'll just burn it off for a while. Um, so let's just take a look and see which uh, family members, or excuse me, which uh, characters we have here. See if uh, any of them are decent. Not particularly. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of some of that aggressive expansion, guys. 
and we did complete that uh, mission. But first, let's go ahead and get rid of the the levies. And we also now have the military tradition. Fantastic. All right, that is nice. Uh, so we can do morale of armies or this one here, which gives that character with the very high uh, marshal. I want to save this, guys, for when we're going to go to war with like a, a big country uh, where we could use a really, really high marshal uh, general. So either with Carthage again, although they're nowhere near as powerful as they used to be, or with Macedon. I think they'd be a fantastic choice for that because uh, they're probably the uh, most powerful of our you know, more closer rivals. So yeah, let's go ahead and just do the morale of armies here, guys. Could go down this route here, but I mean, yeah, there's just not, there's not a lot of good bonuses here, guys. And once you get down to this, I suppose that's helpful. Yeah, as you get further down, it is, but yeah, I think we're going to go with this one here, guys, and then we'll start moving along there. Of course, cannot get that, so until we go into Greece. So yeah, basically, we want to get this one, and that'll give us the general for attacking Greece, uh, Macedon specifically. And then, uh, then get this one here once we've integrated one, uh, so that we can then start getting the Greek traditions. Because yeah, we're starting to run out of traditions here, at least in the Roman ones. Uh, so yeah, let's go with the morale of armies here, a march of the eagles, and let's go ahead and also get this mission task completed here, which allows us to again pick a capital location here. All right, so this one's actually a bit different. This is not for the Colonia. Uh, so that's essentially, it's in these two regions here, uh, or yeah, it's actually three regions. Uh, so it's within these three regions here. Uh, you have the province there, you have the province there, uh, you have Parma again, and then you have this location here. So it seems that this is going to get you a fortress if you don't already have one there, which I don't think we have fortresses in any of those locations. And then you get the strong point modifier, which increases supply limit by plus five and local fort defense by plus 15%. And then essentially any territory that has a fort in these areas is going to get the strong point modifier, uh, that same modifier there. Uh, so yeah, that's going to help out in all of our fortified locations. Uh, I think this one's clearly the best choice because it's the largest there and, and I've been wanting to kind of move a fort over there anyways and probably get rid of the fort here, I suppose. Uh, I mean, we really just don't need this many forts. Uh, but yeah, let's go and do this one here. Uh, but frankly, we yeah, we could go in and get rid of Oh, the fortification here again. Uh, we might want to keep this one here because of the fact that we have the strong point modifier. But yeah, I think we might want to get rid of that now. Uh, yeah, I think that one's unnecessary. So it's going to get rid of that fortification. Just kind of reduce our overall forts. Uh, though, I want to see if we have... Now, it looks like it's only south of this river. Okay, I see. Uh, so yeah, didn't get it in very many locations, essentially. You got it in a few. In a few locations. Uh, so... Nothing here, because yeah, there's no fort there. So yeah, a couple of these locations got it. Uh, these, I guess just these two here. Because yeah, this one's not south of the river. Uh, so let's go and take a look at our fortification system and just kind of get this rearranged, because frankly, oh, we also have missions that we can get done. And we have two of them here. Uh, so this will allow us to get a colonia in the region. And then we have this one here, which is going to, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, so these are just for these two regions. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and do that next episode. Uh, let's just take a look at the fort situation and see if we want to reduce the overall fortification numbers. I'm sure we're probably going to want to reduce that at least by a little bit. Um, I, I want a fort. You know what? I really don't feel like we need forts in the majority of these locations, honestly. Uh, yeah, I mean, we might want to go to get rid of that fortification there. Although, this is all helping with the... Hmm, yeah, that's, that's something to consider because, you know, it is helping with the unrest in these areas, which we do have a lot of unrest. So maybe we should pay for the forts so we don't face rebellion up here. Yeah, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, but it does feel like there's just a bit too much here. Yeah, like this one here is likely... You know what? It's not over the fort infrastructure. Okay, so I guess it's not a problem there. Uh, we do want a fort here. If that's our territory. That is not our territory. All right, so I guess these two forts here will block anybody from coming down either of these passes. Yeah, they'll, they'll block anybody from coming down that way. And then here, this fort is is uh, strategic lo located as well, so they they can't go this way. Uh, so yeah, I guess this works. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, we probably don't need this fortification here, though. Yeah, not really. I was going to get rid of that one. Uh, I, though, again, I, I suppose it was helping out with the, the unrest. It's always something to consider. Yeah, I guess this is good on the fort loca location here. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with those fort locations. Uh, so we do need a, a new governor here in this 
new uh, area we just conquered. Uh, we could go with the assertive governor here. Let's give that very nice commerce bonus, though I, I don't know how much commerce we're actually getting here. I uh, could also go with this character here, who's a lot more loyal. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this character just because of the loyalty and having the higher marshals better in this area, too. All right, so that's done, and now we just need to get those missions completed, which we'll do next episode. Uh, as far as what we're going to be doing next episode, we're going to be burning off aggressive expansion, guys. Uh, we got to get that a bit lower. And I'm done here, guys. The Alps are essentially under our control for the most part. We can always expand more. But I'm, I'm quite pleased with our current situation here, guys. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine with our, our current situation here. So I think we're going to now... I mean, we have a couple choices here. We can go back to war with the Carthaginians. And I never did complete this, this road building here, guys. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we want roads, like, all the way down to there. In fact, we're probably going to have the roads go... Yeah, maybe all the way down to here, actually. Uh, though... Damn it. I didn't hold shift when I did that. So we have to do it over again. Sorry about that, guys. And there we go. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, he'll go all down the coast and get all these roads constructed. Might want to get roads that go over this way as well. And we already have roads going all the way over there. Uh, so yeah, we can go to war with Carthage again for our, I guess that'd be like our fourth Punic War here. Uh, before they get any more powerful here in Spain. Although it looks like they've actually lost territory in Spain. Yeah, they've actually lost territory there. So yeah, we could go ahead and continue attacking Carthage. Or we can go into Greece and, and finally go after Macedon. Uh, both, both of those would be valid options. What we might want to do is, is base it off of what uh, of the mission trees we go with next. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll do it that. Uh, do it that way. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.